Hey guys, welcome to another video. And uh, today I have a couple of questions from logical reasoning for you. And the topic within logical reasoning that I've come up with today is syllogisms. So herein, you will be given some statements and some conclusions out of it. And you need to analytically figure out which conclusions are true and which are not true. So the first question being, the two statements given to you are all buses are cars, all scooters are buses. And conclusions are given to you. Number one, no scooter is a bus. And number two, all cars are buses. So which of the following is the correct option that we should choose? Only one follows, only two follows, both one and two follows, neither one nor two follows. So what do we have here are two statements which we need to analyze. All buses are cars and all scooters are buses. So all buses are cars. I like doing these questions using Venn diagrams. Um, when you have to figure out uh, um, you know, whether these conclusions are true or not, you think in terms of counter examples. So there also, even if you can create one Venn diagram, which is counter, then you are true. In all statements, it's very easy to create a Venn diagram. Let's see how. Let's put our statements as Venn diagrams. All buses are cars. All buses are cars. So suppose this is a set of all buses. This circle consists of all buses. Now, all buses are cars. That means the set of cars is superset to this. This is cars. Because this is how I can get to know that, okay, all the buses, not even a single bus is there, which is not a car. So because... The set of buses is submerged. It can be equal to it also or submerged inside the set of cars. So this is what your statement one is telling you. And then all scooters are buses. If all scooters are buses, then the set of all scooters need to be clearly within the set of all buses, right? So this is the set of all scooters. So this set is of all scooters. Now all scooters are buses. So all scooters are buses. Scooter is a subset to buses. And buses, all buses are cars. All buses are cars. So set of buses is submerged in the set of cars. And this is how it goes. Now conclusions given to us. No scooter is a bus. Is that so? All scooters are buses. So one is not true, of course. All cars are buses. Is that so? No, this is a counter example to that because equality might not hold. So there could be cars which are not buses. But all buses are definitely cars that's given to us. That's the statement. So conclusion one is not true. Definitely not true because all scooters are buses then there cannot be any scooter which is not a bus right all cars are buses no that might not be the case this might be the case that all cars can be buses only when uh, it's an overlap cars and buses it's an equal set so neither one nor two follows and d should be the correct answer to this okay just with one di venn diagram we could easily do it. This was because the statement consists of all. All statements are generally easy to follow. Why? Because uh, uh, the kind of Venn diagrams you will get out of it will be so direct that you will be able to figure out the right option quite, uh, or at least I'm not talking about the option. You will be able to figure out the scenario in the correct manner. Let's do another question based on syllogisms only. But this time, let us take a statement which consists of all and a statement that consists of some. So all mangoes are chairs is one statement. And the second statement is some chairs are tables. Conclusions are, I've taken three conclusions here. All mangoes are tables. Some tables are mangoes. No mango is a table. 
So is it that only one follows? Is it that only two follows? Is it that only three follows? Or is it that none of the above? None of these, okay? So all mangoes are chair. That should be easy to create a Venn diagram of. All mangoes are chair. So there is a set of mango. Mangoes. All mangoes are chairs. That means chairs. Set of chairs is a super set to mangoes or might be equal. Equal or bigger. Because all mangoes, the set of all mangoes have to be well within or equal to the set of chairs. That's how I can figure out, okay, all mangoes are chairs. Now, some chairs are tables. Some chairs are tables. Now, some chairs are tables. Could be a scenario like this. Could be a scenario like this. You know, it might some happen that some chairs are tables. So, there is another set, set of tables. And there is some inter intersection between chairs and tables. Some chairs are tables. So this is showing us that, okay, some chairs are tables, which are lying here. This is also showing us this, right? Now let's look at the conclusion. All mangoes are tables. So is that happening? All mangoes are tables. Can you say that? No. It may happen. It may not happen. So, it, it is a possibility that you get, you know, the set of tables is like this. In that case, also some tables are, uh, some chairs are tables. In the green scenario, the set, if the set of tables is this green, then all mangoes are tables. But that might not be the possibility. Maybe the scenario is... Something of this sort, the earlier scenario that I made. In that scenario, all mangoes are not tables. So you are able to get a counter example, right? So this might not follow. Only two. One is following. No, one is not following. Some tables are mangoes. Some tables are mangoes. Well, some tables are mangoes. So in this one, some tables are mango. But in this case, no table is mango. So there is a possibility that two doesn't happen. So it's not that two will follow always. Only two follows. No, two actually may not follow at all. Some tables are uh, mangoes. No, not always. Maybe there is no table which is a mango. That's a possibility. No mango is a table. Well, no mango is a table. Yes, when it is this case, if this is the case, then no mango is a table. But what if this is a case? Then there are some mangoes which are table. So, even three might not happen always. You can find a counter to that as well. So, we are able to find a counter for one, for two, for three. The correct answer that means is D, none of these. The options that are given to us, none of these options are necessarily true. Okay, we have been able to, just with one Venn diagram, we have been able to actually figure out counter examples. That's how I visualize syllogisms in general. We all can have different ways of thinking. It's all about thinking analytically and logically. So this was one sample of question for you guys from logical reasoning. I hope this will help. Thank you.